Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I am officially back in Minnesota. It has been such a long amazing fun filled weekend. So as many of you guys already know, cause we posted this all over my social media pages, I was invited to come and do media at one music fest in ATL. And when I tell you I had a ball, this was my first time going to a real life festival. I've never been to one cause I don't know. I just feel like it's a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Anxiety, but I put all that to the side cause I really wanted to go to this and you know, really vlog my experience. You guys know I don't really vlog on this channel. So this is something different for me and I hope you guys appreciate my vlog. I had a really good time. I I met so many amazing people. Like seriously, I was recognized by so many people there, it was crazy. Ran into a lot of my tea sippers and they just gave me nothing but just love and hugs and you know, just let me know how much they appreciated me and my platform and I appreciate you all too. One Music Fest ATL 2023 was definitely lit. I had a wonderful time. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. <laughs> Super excited, lovely TTV. Y'all be coming with me. We're gonna be seeing a bunch of different artists, uh, musicians, and all types of stuff. So it's gonna be really, really fun. ATL traffic. Take the exit. checked out the Caribbean dancers. So they were um, over there by the Smirnoff Ice um, sponsor booth and they were out there rocking. So after that, we wanted to go see Club Sheehan and it was a huge skate club. And when I tell you this was really lit, everybody was out there skating. I didn't want to fall and bust my ass on camera. So I chose to just, you know, <laughs> walk around, but you had the option to skate. And the really cool part about this um, area is that you were able to get an airbrush tote bag and they airbrushed it within five minutes and they did a dope job. I picked my favorite color, purple. And then we were done with that just in time to go see Coco. Jones hit the stage and when I tell you baby girl killed it it was so dope seeing her live in person So after we watched Coco Jones and a few other performers perform, we decided to keep walking around. This place was huge, you guys, and I really love the One Music Fest decor. We decided to go down to where the food trucks were, and when I tell you, those lines were wrapped around the block, especially the pizza line. The pizza line, they had to be the best pizza in Atlanta because folks were not playing about that pizza. We ended up coming back later on and getting a slice, and I got a veggie pizza, and yes, pineapples definitely belong on pizza. And when I tell you that pizza was slamming, it definitely was. After that, I ran into another tea sipper. He was just wonderful. Baby, we out here. I was like, I'll, I'll be loving to catch the folks. Out the blue, right? Yeah. I know, the camera put so much weight on me. I was like, I know she's lying. I was like, she is so tiny. I was like, it's good to see you. Nice to see you. Nice meeting you. Take care, be safe for a Okay. And it started getting late, so we wanted to get down and get ready to go see Little Kim and Meg Thee Stallion and all the other evening performances. So this is us heading down there. It's a Reword Up magazine. So I'm and we'll be up in the limousine. <laughs> I wonder where 
this is somebody special, happy birthday that's in here. My nephew CJ Wallace, Biggie's son. He's in here right now. Hey yo, CJ, bring your ass up here, family. Yo, my nephew turned 27 years old, y'all. Y'all say happy birthday to my nephew CJ. <laughs> Just like his pops. We love y'all, baby. Make some noise for yourselves, Notorious B.I.G. Queen B. I got my family and friends in here. Okay, one more. You know, I always fuck with the man, I know that. If you turn around, make sure. Yeah, no, I'm just going oh, to turn around. Oh, that's good. I like that. You know what I'm saying? We can stay behind. What's going on there? Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Thank you so much. Yes, no, definitely. Nice meeting you, too. Thank you. You are, too. Nice meeting you, too. Thank you for the tea sipper. Yes. I tell you, we're turning around. All the boyfriends and husbands. All of them. Turn them around. My mama watch you. Everybody watch you. Oh, that's awesome. I've been watching you for a while. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm being, I told you. So after running into another awesome tea sipper, I swear y'all was outside for real. I ended up running into Dennis Byron. Um, we all know him. He's the one who covered the Cardi B case. And so he was there. Um, I made it all the way up to the stage because I wanted to get a up close and personal to see Little Kim set and Meg Thee Stallion set as well. So in between sets, the DJ was slamming. He was playing a lot of really good music and I was having fun doing what I do, <laughs> okay, which is dancing and singing to the camera. Who <laughs> me says Tina Snow? Let me hear you say real hot girl shit. Real hot girl shit. Drop this shit, Jay Bob. Like a two lady. All right, so after we got done watching Meg The Stallion set, it was time to get back in place to go see the headliner, which was Janet Jackson. And so on the way there, we took some more pictures. Um, one of the things I really liked about Music Fest was the fact that there were so many different picture booths. You could do gifts, boomerangs, solo shots, and it was just really fun taking pictures with different backdrops at different sponsor tents. So that was like really cool. So we got to see Janet Jackson and she surprised everyone by bringing out J. Cole. I was not expecting him to be there, but it was so dope. And of course he performed my favorite song, No Role Models. Just a few videos ago, I was literally rapping No Role Models. So to watch him perform that at One Music Fest was just so dope. They definitely killed it the first night.
Oh, I like that. Yeah, my hair looks crazy. <laughs> 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 my hair looks crazy. Oh my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Alright two sippers, so it is day two of the One Music Fest, so we are here at Piedmont Park in Atlanta and there's still quite a bit of people here um, showing up to the festival. It looks like it's definitely going to be lit. Uh, Kendrick Lamar will be here tonight and quite a few other artists that I'm super, super excited to see. So follow me on my day two as I'm here going through Piedmont Park. Um, I'm on my media stuff, so I'm about to go ahead and get checked in. Stay tuned. So this is day two. And what I liked most about day two is that it was not as busy as day one. Day one was jam packed. The lines were crazy long. But day two, we got there early enough where we were able to try out some more of the sponsored booths. So we finally got a chance to go hit up the Sprite tent. And what I loved about that sponsorship booth was the fact that they had so many really cool backdrops. Like they had a Sprite house, they had a bike, they had a bus stop, you know, so it was really dope. And one of the funnest things about that is that you could go into the booth and basically do like a mini karaoke video to a choice of five songs and I made my video but I sounded a hot mess so I'm not gonna show you guys the video but I had a good time recording it. On top of that, it was really cool just seeing everybody doing their little photo shoots. The people there at the Sprite booth took the pictures for you so that was really nice of them. And then you also got a free bottle of Sprite as well, which was awesome. So I really enjoyed that. Now on top of that, day two was really amazing. Um, the DJ drama set was so dope. Like if you're into trap music, if you have some favorite ATL artists, they were there. Waka Flocka showed up, T.I. showed up, um, 2 Chain showed up. There was a lot of artists that were on the Sprite stage performing and it was really dope. Then on top of that, at the main stage, we all came for Kendrick Lamar, and Kendrick Lamar put on a hell of a performance. On top of that, Thames also came out too, and Thames looked gorgeous as always. So it was really amazing just to see so many different acts in so many places. The crowds were jam-packed. There was a lot of people there Sunday as well. It wasn't as packed as Saturday, but it was definitely still a lot of people in the house. I think Sunday ended off with a bang. I had a wonderful time. By the time everything wound up, I was extremely tired and ready to get back to my Airbnb to get some sleep. Tea and goodbye. It's the lovely 
Cause he's here to show Be sure to share, like, and subscribe